have some awesome nail art to show you today. Yeah, if you ever wanted to question your nails, you've come to the right place. So let's paint horseshoes on our nails. Let's go. You can get little tool kits for doing your nails that have really thin brushes, tools that help you make tiny dots or details, and more. But if you don't have that and you want to try this today, we recommend finding some toothpicks to help you out. Next, you're going to need four nail polish colors. One for the base, which should be your lightest color. One for the horseshoe, which should be a darker color. One for the little dots on the horseshoe, which should be something like white or silver. And a clear top coat. Start by painting your base color on each nail and let it dry completely. You may want to do two coats. My right hand is steady. Ah! Ah! Accidents always happen, so. Yeah. <laughs> Here we have nail polish you. remover. It can get a little bit messy, so make sure you're in an area where it wouldn't really? upset anyone. Tell us in the comments how your nails turn out. And tell us which colors you used. Rosa, can you do my left hand and I can do your right? Definitely. Awesome. Don't worry if your nails don't look perfect. This is just for fun and a fun way to hang out with your friend like Rosa and me. I kind of feel like the pals would totally do this. Definitely. Tell us in the comments what you and your friends do to hang out. Pull your toothpick around the edges if any gets on your skin. Onto the thumb. <laughs> As much as we love doing question themed nails, they can be a bit tricky at the barn because they get chipped off really easily. Mm -hmm. I just gotta let these dry a little bit and then we are on to our horseshoes. I'm gonna ride and run free. Now we are going to paint our horseshoes. I'm using trusty orange. And I'm using a sparkly purple because I really like sparkles. If you have a smaller brush, this is when you're going to want to use it. Wipe the nail brush off so there's a little polish on it and very carefully draw a horseshoe shape on your nail. Don't feel like you have to draw the whole shape with one brush stroke. Move carefully and slowly. Okay, so my horseshoe doesn't look great. You can't really see it that well, so I'm gonna choose a different color. Trial and error. I like the red a lot better and I switch to a slightly thinner brush. Practice makes perfect, so the more you do these nails, the better they'll turn out. Exactly, and if you want to, you can practice them on a separate piece of paper to see how it feels and work on having a steady hand. I am actually just going to do the first three fingers with the horseshoes and leave the others plain. When you do designs on your nails, it's best to do a thin version first and then work on that. Then it's easier to fix mistakes. Slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race, unless your spirit. Once you have your shapes done, let your nails dry. Next, use a toothpick to put tiny dots on each horseshoe to represent the nail holes. Cute, loving it. I'm gonna use the silver, actually. The silver, a rebel. I'm just gonna do the silver on the thumbs and the white on the other ones. Yeah, you can be really creative with this. Those look really good, Rosa. Let your nails dry completely. Then carefully paint a clear top coat over your whole nail to seal the design. The clear coat is fixing a lot of mistakes I made. <laughs> You know, I actually love to paint my nails while I watch TV, so this is kind of the perfect activity to do while we watch Spirit Riding Free on Netflix. Yeah, <laughs> as long as you're super careful with the nail polish. Yeah, my mom would not be too happy with nail polish in the TV room. <laughs> Are you guys gonna try horseshoe nail art? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Bye! Bye.